Sri Lanka, a land of vibrant culture, customs, art and dance. All deeply influenced by the arrival of Buddhism in 300 BC. Music is an integral part of these aspects and reigning supreme over all forms of traditional instrumentation is the majestic drum. Both the drum and its provider, the tree, are held with reverence. Craftsmen go to great lengths to find that perfect tree. And once found, it is felled at an auspicious time with a ceremony of gratitude. This tradition of tree finding is one that is passed down from generation to generation of drum artisans. Usually, koomba, ala, kitul, milla or jackfruit trees are used to fashion the body of the drum. And a tree that's next to a flowing body of water is often preferred. It is believed that the tree hears the sound of the water and this reflects upon its resonance. The bark is first removed with a sharp hole called a weya. The block is then shaped on a spinning clamp. Traditionally, a more elaborate device, which involved a cartwheel and rope driven by hand, was used to perform this task. But over the last few years, an electrical motor has replaced manpower, greatly increasing the speed of the shaping process. When creating the hollow, great care is taken to ensure equal thickness all around. The shell is then smoothened further and intricate designs are carved onto the surface. Drums are often only lightly polished and not painted as artisans believe that the wood needs to breathe to maintain its sound. For fasteners and sometimes for drumsticks, two types of creeper plants are used namely Kerindi and Boketia. The head or the skin is then prepared from animal skin. It is fastened with a circular frame. The fasteners are called Varapati and the process of fashioning them is called Vara Ambarana. The drum is then left to cure, after which it goes through a rigorous tuning process. It is now complete and begins a journey of rhythm and sound. History shows a myriad of 33 drums being used in traditional customs. However, only 10 are in widespread usage today. The Gatabera is the main drum that accompanies upcountry dance or Candian dance and uses two varieties of skin to produce a two-tonal sound. Emerging from the low country is the Yakbara, a drum that bears association with mask dancing and kolam dances. Also referred to as the twin drum, the Thammattama is played with curled sticks instead of hands. The individual components produce two different tones that work to complement each other. The most used drum in many Buddhist ceremonies and rituals is the Daula, this drum combines both stick and hand to produce its sound. From the northern parts of the island hails the Miridangam and the Tavil drum. Both instruments constituents of Carnatic music and passed down through historical ties with India. From a resounding beat that embodies the joy of an occasion to the surreal trance of a traditional pageant across open paddy fields and within traditional rituals, the sound of the drum has long echoed. As the world progresses with great speed, it is gratifying to know that such ancient traditions still spur on through a long line of drum artisans, architects with the ability to transport a person 
with the strike of their instruments to another pace, place and time.